Here we are with Furry's Two Cents on Robo Reviews. This is a Mojo Duck here, or well, Lucky Duck. It does come with a bit of tape that sticks on here. This thing would be 10 year old, maybe 15 year old. Pretty much got it when my first came out, 500 bucks. Does two six volt batteries on opening day, doesn't miss a beat. It's not loud, it's brilliant. This one here, I can only review this on its opening weekend. So far, it's on its second lot of batteries. $170 from Hunting and Fish. Nice three piece stand so you can put it on your backpack. It's plastic, it's light, its colors are good, it's quiet. And again, you turn it off nice and easy, click, and the battery, these here are just um, magnetic and that core flute stuff. So, really, really light if you had to carry that. Um, you don't have six volt batteries, there's no charging. Very, very simple. I'll turn it back on. Actually, I'll turn it off because I'm going to use this one tonight. Um, yeah, we've got all sorts. This over here is a wind propelled one. I bought this for $40. You can see the ripples on the pond here. It's probably 50, uh, 15 to 20 kilometer breezes. Still not going. If I give it a go there, it's gonna hold its spin. It's slowly gonna, oh, it's gonna hold just it on that. But, I mean, in the middle of a field with a bit of a breeze, great, again, it's just a threaded, not even a threaded bar, it's the bar that goes through. 40 bucks, again, probably cheap. But has its limitations. Another robo duck here in the corner. So these have all sort of been modified over the years, have their own battery systems. Here's one of your old original lucky mojos or whatever. One of these motors is buggered. <clears throat> really, really do like these ducks. They've got a um, sort of a polystyrene base on them. They run off two double D batteries. Really cool. Just put a sinker underneath them and they swim around and run in circles. <clears throat> if you ever see one of these on Marketplace, buy it. It's worth its weight in gold. Again, you just buy some double D batteries. You don't have to worry about anything. Downside is these wings break off. They do come off with a uh, Allen key, but yeah, not ideal. This one here comes with a 12 volt battery system. You have to hook it up to a car battery or even a smaller battery. This is it here bobbing away now. I'll just dial in on that. Now when you've got no ripples, this is great. Again, 450 bucks. Thanks Jacob. <clears throat> you got to push the button softly. Because this thing will jump right out of the water. It's basically a little boat turbine. These things break off. You could probably use some better... Some better... Um, attachment than we've got, then green cord. Where do we go next? All right, and here we have what we call the duck ass. I don't know what its technical term is. I'm gonna disconnect it now. Runs off a bilge pump, and just a cool wee system where you just go, oh, that's actually quite hard to do one-handed. Or just go like, and you undo it. Now that turns it off. So you just gotta wade out here, click that together, and she's all go. Now, this thing is held together off a, as you can see, videos on the floor, a waterproof 12 volt case. Awesome little thing. Set that up Friday night. If you do set up on a Friday night, you might be a hardcore um, Saturday morning kind of guy, but yeah, just takes the effort out of that, setting things up in the dark. I love it. This one over here, that's what it looks like in motion. This is Spoonzilla. $170 from Hunting and Fish. Cool little quick release. Spoonzilla comes off. Boom. Spoonzilla turns off. How simple, eh? Ugly as sin. Like it's actually taken the piss. We've shot three Spoonbill Drakes. So maybe, maybe, batteries disconnect. What we have noticed this opening anyway, is a lot of our ducks have come in and then left. They've committed to a certain height, seen something they don't like, and then they leave. There's that wind propelled one there from a distance. 
and just to the left of it you'll see one of those flickers those are $250 for six yes and no some people reckon they're great they're not bad 50% of them will fail on you the seals will break hey those flickers would you buy them again they do a good job, but as I said, 50% of them, they, they, the they, they water gets inside and you hear them sort of zzzz, and then the batteries don't last and the ones they have to fight. So, just doing a review, I feel like we've used these for long enough to, this thing here we actually didn't like for ages because we thought it scared ducks. Now you can flick this lever here and I think that'll stop the water from going. Or well, maybe it turns the whole thing off. It turns the whole thing off. How about that? That would have been a lot easier. Oh no, the water still goes. That turns the wings off. So we did that for years. Because we thought that that spooked ducks when they were committed. But it runs off the coolest little system as well. Which are these waterproof 12, 12 volt um, decoy weight thingamajiggies. I think I just made another word up. But yeah, this thing is a flocked head. Looks kind of silly, vertically standing on its, sitting on its bum. So if you can hear this, no, no, it's not going to do it now. But that's those little flicker things. And here is another one of the lucky ducks. This one here, the double D batteries wore out on it. I uh, left them in actually, and then they, um, by leaving them in, they rusted out and corroded the ends. This thing is going to do that again. Come on, do it for me. Do it for me. Oh, yes. oh there we go. So I've already changed its batteries. It'll be dead very shortly. It, I think it just needs probably some way of greasing the inside bearing. I think it would be a lot worse if we shot in the estuary with the salt water. But this thing here is on its second lot of double D batteries for the weekend. I'm going to turn it off. So simple. I'll probably use this one tonight with the kids because I chuck it in, it goes round and round and round, it makes a ripple, it's big, looks cool, that wing there broke, I riveted on a ice cream lid, cut out kind of like a decoy, and that was five years ago. So shot deep south ice cream for your lid, on the fly repairs with Froey, but yeah, I don't know, again this is only my two cents. I think if you've got a good pond on a good flight path, it probably doesn't matter what you do, you're going to shoot ducks. If you've got a small pond up country where there's no flight path, you just got to, I don't know, feed up. Everyone's got their secrets. We did spuds this year. Did it make a difference? I don't know. Maybe. We probably shot 15 ducks this morning on daylight, which we don't normally do. I think last year we got one. So... Yeah, oh these things were pretty cool too, these were a, a twirly whirly system, had their own battery, uh, they broke two years ago, lasted us 10 years, I don't know how realistic it is, they just went round and round and round, on windy windy days they would stall and do backflips, but yeah, I think that's us. Not sure if I did the stuck in my review or not. This one is quite neat in the aspect how it has these little rubber tabs which you can plug together if you're on, you know, say a stubble paddock. Uh, but if you're in the water, they flick. They flick up water, which is great. It's got sort of a foam pad which makes it float. However, I'm taking it back. Now I'm going to turn that. Now it's turning on. Now it's turning off. The dial here is not working. And I find as you're doing it on, by like doing it up and taking it off, you see that there, it gets all twisted. And I think that that plug right there, there's something wrong with it. It needs like a swivel. See, it's trying to turn on there now. It needs a swivel thingy-majiggy. Another made-up word. See, now it's turned off. Stop it. Very frustrating. I'm gonna unplug it. Ugh. The whole thing just seems like it's got too much going on. 
for a small area. If that makes sense, you can see again that cord is twisted. I'd imagine like a digger needs, it needs a some sort of power cord that can swivel. You know, like you would when you're fishing and that sort of thing. Like the dynamics of it, great idea. Just needs yeah, finer touches, and you can set it on pulse and a few other bits and pieces. But I'll take it back, see what this is. I bought it last year. We've had that with a few decoys, especially with built-in internal batteries. They work for a season and then they don't go. But, again, I like the decoy. This one's failed me. I don't know, I can only speak for this one. 